have to describe the transformations which when applied to that circle produce that ellipse. Okay, well I want to know what they are geometrically. I, I think the best thing to do here is let's um let's draw a picture to start with so we can see what it's all looking like. So this is a very bad picture, you can see that, but anyway you'll get the idea. Right, let's start off with a circle. We've got a centre at one, two, so same scale so it looks vaguely circle like up the side one two so the center is there and the radius is one so just there just from there oh my goodness me that is so not circular oh, I'm terribly sorry I can't draw circles all right you get the idea hopefully That's a circle of radius 1 with the centre at 1, 2. And we've got to produce that ellipse. That's a centre of minus 1, 4. Right, right, let's try and get the scale going. 1, 2. Okay, the minus 1 is there. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 2. Minus 1, 4 is there. Horizontal axis is 1, so it only goes from there to there, so that's the edge of it. And then, but the okay. Now, the, the reason that is 1 is because I'm over 1 squared here, so that's the reason that the horizontal axis is 1. And the vertical one, that's 4, is 2 squared, so the vertical axis is going up and down 2 in the centre. So 4, I'm going to need to go up to 6, 5, 6. That's going to go up to there and down to 4, 2, there. So I've got an ellipse there. Here we go. Watch out. Bad picture coming up. Okay. Just can't control it. There we go. There's a, a not a very pretty ellipse, but hopefully you can get the idea. Okay. Now, geometrically... How am I going to get that circle to change into that ellipse? It looks to me like I'm going to reflect in the y-axis and then I'm going to dilate because that will that'll stretch it all up. Um, there's no dilation in the x-direction because the radius of the circle is 1 and, and the length of the axis in the x-direction there and the, the centre is still 1. But there is dilation in the y-direction. So I, I'll, I'll just make a note what I'm going to do here. First, So first I'm going to reflect in the y axis and then second I'm going to dilate in the y direction and those two things um, should make it happen. Di how, how much am I going to dilate it by? Um, I'm going for it so it's just going to be two um, Now that describes the transformations in words geometrically. Um, we are required also, this is in the matrices section, to find the matrices which represent that. So we better do that. So let's look at the um, first thing first. Let us do firstly a reflection in the y axis. Now you might want to refer to your um, your formula sheet and um, that will equal, as a matrix, we're going to get cos, now it's 90 degrees is the y-axis, so we're going to get cos of 180, sine 180, sine 180, negative cos 180, and that is going to be negative 1001. Zero, zero, one. You could do that with the linear transformations way, or anyway, you, you, or you might just know that one off the top of your head. But um, there we go. That's you can always refer back to your formula sheet to use that way of getting it. And the second thing we have to do is the dilation by a factor of two in the y direction. So that should be so there's a dilation one, two, 
see my uh, direction. That is so. So we just have to do those one after the other and then we'll have um, the matrices to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is the reflection and that will act on whatever x, y is. So press x dash, y dash. Then the second thing that we do, I'm going to put that second because the first thing comes first and this thing comes after, is um, 1, 0, 0, 2. And if we just multiply those first two matrices out, we'll have what the, the transformation matrix is. So just multiplying them, we get negative 1. And then we get 0. And then we get 0. And then we get 2. So is the transformation. So geometrically, what's happening is we are reflecting the y-axis and then dilating by a factor of 2. And that's describing the transformation in words, geometrically. And then we have the same thing. I've just turned that into a matrix, and that is the transformation matrix that, that does that. And there we go. That's that.